everyone, I'm Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about the differences between an ECG and echocardiography. So let's start. So what is an ECG? What do you know about an ECG? ECG is electrocardiograph or electrocardiogram. ECG is also called as EKG. ECG is a method by which we attach a number of electrodes on your body, basically 12 electrodes. And with these electrodes, we can actually catch the electrical activity of your heart and convert it into a graph on a paper. So that paper on which the graph has been made is called electrocardiograph. And the procedure of doing that ECG is called electrocardiography. So that's an ECG. On the other hand, an echocardiography, echocardiogram is basically an ultrasound imaging of your heart in which we use high frequency sound waves to create a visual image of your heart. Just like when you do an ultrasound and you can see the fetus, the baby inside the mother's womb in the abdomen, just like that, we can see the moving heart with an echocardiography. So in echocardiography, we have a probe and that probe emits the ultrasound waves and then catches it back to create an inverted image of your heart on the screen and that can be recorded and evaluated. If you want to know about health and have health concerns, then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. You'll be notified about all upcoming videos. Let's see what all we can check or what information we can assess or gain from an ECG and an echocardiography. Obviously, these tests assess your heart and are used to evaluate various symptoms of your heart. So, what information do we get from an ECG? An ECG gives us information about 1. Your heart rate, your heart's rhythm of beating. So if you ever had palpitations or increased heart rate continuously, then that can be assessed by an ECG. Third thing which an ECG can show are enlargements. Heart enlargements can be assessed by an ECG. And fourth thing, we can actually see damages to your heart of previous or ongoing heart attacks. If there is any previous history of heart attack or an ongoing heart attack or a damage to your myocardial muscles, then that can be seen on an ECG. But what we cannot assess are the valves and other structures of your heart. We can only assess the enlargement of your heart chambers, but we cannot assess the structure. We cannot see the shape and the other things which we can see on visual inspection by an echocardiograph. So let's see what all we can see from an echocardiograph. The most important thing is that we can actually visually examine all the internal structures of your heart. What all we can see? The walls of the heart, the valves of the heart. Valves are like doors in the heart and there are four valves in your heart. And walls are like walls on, a, on each chamber. So walls of the heart, chambers of the heart, valves in the heart can be assessed. And the septum can be assessed between the two sides of your heart. There is a left side and the right side and which is separated by a septum that can be assessed or the structure of all these things can be assessed by echocardiography as well as the function function can be assessed blood flowing can be seen on echocardiography and the function as well as leakages of your heart valves the doors can be seen on echocardiography that 
that can be seen by color doppler method color doppler is an application an extension of echocardiography in which we use color doppler waves on your heart by which the blood flowing is visible by colored patterns red and blue and even yellow sometimes wherever there is a turbulence there is yellow or fluorescent color so what all we can assess we can assess your valvular function and leakages we can see your cardiac output the ejection fraction that means at one pump how much blood how much percentage of blood does your heart pump out we can actually assess that from echocardiography we can actually assess the diastolic function of both sides of your heart we can see how well the heart relaxes and various other things can be assessed pericardium can be assessed heart's covering can be assessed whether there is any fluid in it or not a lot of things can be assessed by echocardiography which cannot be seen by ecg even rhythm problem can be assessed by echocardiography but it needs to be documented by an ecg and sometimes an ecg is needed to see the intensity of the rhythm problem and the type of the rhythm problem so that's why echocardiography is an advanced and much more advanced test as compared to ecg but both of these tests are non invasive tests non invasive meaning they do not involve piercing your skin and they do not have any side effects so that's the best thing about these tests so both of these tests give us a lot of information about your heart and help us in diagnosing your condition and relieving you of your symptoms so before anything else if you have not subscribed to my channel already then please do that now and do not forget to press the bell icon because that's how you'll get the notification of the next upcoming video so guys we have made a lot of videos on various topic heart and as well as weight loss as well as exercise and now we have started a version on fat as well so please subscribe the channel and spread the word so let's see what all symptoms and what all problems can be assessed by these two tests we can assess a chest pain a suspected heart attack case or a suspected pulmonary embolism case a patient with off and on chest pain or a chest pain on walking or exertion can be assessed a patient with breathing difficulty shortness of breath or breathing difficulty on exertion on walking can be assessed patient with orthopnea means breathing difficulty on lying down position patients with swelling in the legs pedal edema patients with breathing difficulty in the middle of the night all of the, these patient needs assessment by ecg and echocardiography patients with palpitations fainting and syncopal episodes patients with seizures seizure disorders convulsions also need to be assessed by ecg and echocardiography along with that patients with very high or very low blood pressure or very high or very low heart rate also need assessment by ecg and echocardiography then patients with electrolyte imbalance especially potassium high potassium low potassium can lead to arrhythmias and cardiac problems so they also need ecg and echocardiography many times in the hospital ecg is used to continuously monitor the rhythm and rate of your heart many times ecg and echocardiography are included in routine health checkups especially of elderly or people who already have a risk factor or some comorbidities along with that patients with valvular heart disease or rheumatic heart disease will need an echocardiograph two more things which you should know are uh, that both ecg and echocardiography are normally done in a patient's resting situation where the patient is lying down and resting another type of ecg and stress test the same ecg and echocardiography if done under stress situation that means when your heart rate is racing that is called a stress test when it is done with an ecg it's called a tmt a 
treatment test where ECG is done. When it is associated with an echocardiography, when it is done with the echocardiography, it's called a stress echo, stress echocardiograph. And both of these tests are done to assess your heart's function while under stress with a higher heart rate. So sometimes blockages in arteries are somewhere in the middle 50, 60, 70 percent and in that case your heart may be normal, functioning normal, getting enough blood supply in resting state but when it is racing, when, it, when you are under stress, when you are walking or climbing stairs at that time the blood supply to your cardiac muscles decreases and your heart shows signs of ischemia in ECG as well as in echo. That's why these tests are done. In both tests, obviously, stress echo is far more superior than ECG. But ECG also works. Then another aspect of echocardiography which you should know that there are types of echocardiography. There are basically two types of echocardiography. One we can do from above your chest. That's called as TTE, transthoracic echocardiography. And one is when we do it through an endoscope and put it inside your mouth, go down into your esophagus and then look at the heart from there. That's called as transesophageal echocardiography, TEE. -E. So both these are done very regularly and TEE -E is usually done when there is a poor window in TTE, -E, in transthoracic echocardiography, when there is a lot of fat or the lungs are not so good and there is a lung disease and you cannot see the heart properly from above. Then we go for a TTE. A TTE obviously is little better but it is a little invasive. That's why it is done only when it is indicated. So all these things come to a play when we are doing echocardiography and further two things can be done with echocardiography. A contrast study is also done with echocardiography where we put a contrast inside your heart through your veins obviously where you can actually enhance the walls of your heart and see enhanced images of the walls to assess mass or some lesion inside the heart and even assess wall motion abnormalities. Then echocardiographic guided procedures can be done on the heart. So that's the information about echo and ECG. So I hope all of your questions and queries on these topics are answered by these informations and if you still have any questions do write to us and if you haven't subscribed to the channel already then don't forget to do that and please 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 do share these videos we take great effort to create these videos so please help us out here and make your contribution by sharing and subscribing these videos press the bell icon to get notifications and if you have any questions we are there to help you good luck